हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल एस्पायर थर्टी टू डॉट कॉम एंड दिस इज डॉक्टर सुरेश एंडवी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट डेंटल केरीज व्हिच इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन द डेंटिस्ट्री डेंटल केरीज कैन बी डिफाइंड एज एन इन्फेक्शियस माइक्रोबायोलॉजिकल डिसीज विच रिजल्ट इन लोकलाइज रेजोल्यूशन एंड द डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द कैल्सिफाइड टिश्यू ऑफ टू स्ट्रक्चर The dental caries is commonly termed as the dental decay. Caries can be learned under following headings: the etiology, that is the cause of the caries, followed by pathogenesis, classification, diagnosis, prevention, and the treatment plan. And today we will be learning about the etiology of the dental caries. Caries is a multifactorial disease. However, it requires four factor in order to form. The first being the plaque and the microorganisms, the tooth, the diet, and the time. All four essential for the caries formation. The three factors together constitute the caries triad, to which the time was added later, and then it was termed as a newborn's tetrad. As you can see in the image, without all the factors the caries won't initiate or even progress let's learn about the role of microorganisms in the initiation of caries plaque is a soft tenacious substance which is sticky in nature it contains various microorganisms and water and saliva protein not all the organism from the plaque are responsible for the caries formation basically there are three organisms which are involved in the caries formation that is the streptococcus mutans then the lactobacillus acidophilus and the actinomyces viscosus however each organism has a specific role in different type of caries formation streptococcus mutans is one of the most important organism which is involved in the caries formation it is both acidogenic and aciduric that means it can survive in the acidic environment and even produce acid it has a enzyme called as glycosyl transferase which is involved in the breakdown of sugar that is sucrose and forms dextran and this is the substance which allows the organisms to sustain on the tooth hence the question generally will be asked regarding the streptococcus mutans is what is the significance of it during the caries and the answer should be without the streptococcus mutans the caries will not initiate second organism is the lactobacillus acidophilus As I mentioned earlier it is the streptococcus mutans which initiates the caries the lactobacillus is only involved in the progression of caries so if somebody asks you what is the organism involved in the caries initiation then the answer should be streptococcus mutans and if the caries progression is asked then the answer is the lactobacillus acidophilus the third organism is the actinomyces viscosus it has a special role in the root caries formation so here the question will be asked what is the organism which was involved in the root caries formation and that is the actinomyces viscosus now let us learn the role of the tooth in the caries formation natural tooth with the susceptible tooth surface exposed to the oral environment is the first prerequisite for the dental caries to occur generally non self cleanable areas are more prone to develop caries as they provide stagnation areas for the dental plaque Pits and fissures are such areas which are hard to reach with the toothbrush or even to clean. These are the areas which are formed due to improper fusion of developing tooth lobes. The pits and fissures are prone for caries and can be seen in the occlusal surface of molars and premolars, buccal surface of mandibular molars, the palatal surfaces of the maxillary molars and the lingual pits of the maxillary incisors. along with this the proximal surface which is below the contact area is also very susceptible to caries and the root surface following the gingival recession or the defective margins around the restoration are also prone for the caries formation apart from this the biochemical composition of the tooth also has a role in the caries enamel surface of a newly formed erupted teeth is highly susceptible to caries because of its increased carbonate content of the enamel crystals 
With age, the surface becomes more resistant to caries because of the post eruptive maturation that changes the composition of the surface enamel. There is an increase in the fluoride which is anti-caryogenic in nature and makes the enamel resistant to dental caries. Now let us understand the role of diet in the initiation of the dental caries formation. Modern diet is the third major factor in the development of dental caries. As compared to the primitive diets, there are several detrimental changes in the modern diet. Physically, the diet is less fibrous and more refined and soft and sticky. This favors the stagnation of the food on the tooth surface. Chemically, the diet is mainly composed of carbohydrate which are karyogenic material. Modern diet contains more of a refined carbohydrate like sucrose, fructose, glucose which makes food more karyogenic. Generally, the diet that is rich in the refined carbohydrates and low in proteins predisposes to the growth of the karyogenic organism. Another factor promoting the caries is the consumption of snacks between the meals. So out of all the factors that is the quantity and the quality, the most important aspect is the frequency at which the carbohydrate is consumed. So it is advised that the sugar should be taken during the meal time so that the frequency is reduced and the incidence of caries is less. Basically the organisms when receive the carbohydrate, mainly the sucrose, they metabolize this carbohydrate that is the sucrose and release an acid called as lactic acid. And this lactic acid is responsible for the demineralization of the tooth. Along with this, when the carbohydrate are metabolized, it forms a substance called as dextrans and levans and these are sticky in nature and help in stagnation of microorganisms on the tooth and further promoting the caries formation. So to end the lecture, let me tell you what are the important questions here, which is the organism which is involved in the initiation of caries, the progression of caries, root surface caries, what areas on the tooth are susceptible for caries formation, which is the main carbohydrate which is commonly involved in the caries formation and out of all the properties which is the most important property of the diet which has high karyogenic potential. I hope you liked our lecture. If you like it, please share and subscribe to our channel Aspire32. In the next lecture, we will learn some more aspects of the dental caries.